Hello guys, my name is Luke Foster. I'm a TDO on Tower One and today we're going to make a video for you concerning the emergency operations, emergency controls on Tower One along with the uh, general controls and the EPU. Okay guys, this is the main electrical or control box for the stabilizers. There's a view of it. So the first step is we, uh, in a normal situation, we uh, leave everything on the truck will be running will um, turn on the aerial master and the aerial PTO buttons in the cab we then come back to this uh, outrigger box and we're going to turn on the stabilizer power and from here we now have power to our main control box which is an electrical over hydraulic power system to go ahead and operate our stabilizers the controls, the pedestal controls up here on the pedestal of the truck. These are electronic over hydraulic controls. And one thing of note is this is the emergency hydraulic power, which is your EPU. Operating this will allow you to set the outriggers or fly the aerial. All right, in the event of an electrical failure, we will need to operate the aerial ladder using these direct hydraulic valves. Uh, as you can see, extend, retract, right, left, and lower and raise. To operate these direct hydraulic valves, you will also have to have somebody on the other side in the uh, extinguisher compartment operating that valve to allow you to use these manual overrides. Okay, now we're gonna talk about a short jack situation. As you discussed, or saw on the ladder five video uh, short jack situation you are able to override it as you can see on tower one we have extended the outriggers on the right side of the truck although they look like they're fully deployed they are not they are short jacked so in this situation if you you don't uh, in talking with a number of tdos the the consensus is that you do not ever go over a short jack side and the fact is, just like this situation, we're only a couple inches short, short jacked on this driver's side of the, of the truck. So in this situation, we need to uh, use common sense. And if we're uh, in a rescue situation where we need to, uh, at a steep angle and, and uh, um, not deployed very far or extended very far, we still may be able to come over on this side. So I'm going to go over here to the turntable and we're going to operate the rotation of the ladder and you'll see on the heads up display where it stops me. So I'll go ahead and do it. We're going to go to the right and because we are short jacked on the left side of the truck, it's going to stop me. At that point I have Keegan staged at the back of the tower so right there you can see aerial rotation is denied. So I have Keegan staged at the back of the tower at the override switch and I'm going to go ahead and have him hold the override switch and you'll see that we can continue to come over on this short jack side. Okay Keegan. So our heads up display says manual override control and as you can see we are able to continue to rotate over to the short jack side after it automatically stopped us. All right, lastly, I wanted to cover the override button here in the back, on the back of the tower near your main control box. So this is the override button, and it needs to be noted that when operating this override button, it's not something you just touch, and then the uh, operator at the pedestal can continue to operate. Somebody needs to be down here and constantly hold that button up while in a short jack situation to continue to go ahead and operate the aerial. With respect to Tower 1, we are allowed to operate the EPU for 30 minutes on and with a 30 minute rest. This is the EPU button on the pedestal, which is labeled emergency hydraulic power. There is also an EPU button on your main control box, stabilizer control box, at the rear of, the, of Tower 1. And once again, these can be operated for 30 minutes, with then followed by a 30 minute rest. All right, guys, that concludes the video on the emergency operations and EPU operations on Tower 1. What we want you to do is go ahead and get with your Tower 1 crews on each of your shifts and go out and 
operate these uh, controls in a simulated electrical failure and a simulated hydraulic failure uh, for Tower 1 and that is what your uh, skill will be in this month's pack for Target Solutions.